tiny A-frame off the grid cabin. It's really neat. What is up guys? I'm pretty low to the ground. I'm sitting on this bucket. I don't know if you can see that, but basically on the ground right here so if it looks a little weird that's why anyway i got a brand new video for you guys today and we're taking a tour of this airbnb right behind me this gorgeous a-frame located in northern arizona in the desert right next to the grand canyon again i didn't make it to the grand canyon because it was closed the one time i decided to come up to northern arizona so big rip but anyway there's other airbnbs i did in this area if you haven't seen those go check them out if i haven't posted them yet i will be soon it is really sunny right now and it's a little bit windy but i enjoy the sun so i'm enjoying this a lot uh, if you're interested in this airbnb i'll leave the link down below and if you want to save 40 dollars on your first Airbnb stay anywhere around the world. That link is down below as well. Anyway, guys, like I said, this was right next to the Grand Canyon. If you want to come to the Grand Canyon or anywhere in northern Arizona, there's a lot that this place has to offer from different national monuments, from swimming holes that we went to. There's a few clips from that. But yeah, I would highly suggest coming up here because I enjoyed it a lot. I love this type of environment and the sun and seeing all that stuff. Anyway, you'll find your Airbnb. You'll notice there's lots of dirt roads to get to it. It is very secluded and private and peaceful. There is really no neighbors anywhere around you. You can look all around the horizon and see just straight for miles and miles and there's just nobody else really around you which is really nice if that's what you want and that's what you're looking for and there's just no noise pollution or any light pollution so at night is the perfect time to look at the stars it's typically a clear night out here in northern Arizona not too many clouds we got been here and it's just a really nice area to be at to stargaze anyway you get to your Airbnb right here the a-frame pull up and you notice this is a tiny home a-frame I would consider it and it is is off grid which is really neat and we'll get to that in a bit but you pull up to Airbnb and you notice that there's a couple buildings right here we'll focus on the main one right here you walk up to it and on the outside you got a little front porch and you got a chair you got an area for your firewood right here and the door right here is really neat and you got a window up top above it of course and of course it is an a-frame so the side is this black metal they have two windows on the side as well and that's basically it on the outside it looks really neat and I think it's totally Instagram worthy, this little A-frame out in the desert. And right next to you, you got a fire pit over here to enjoy those cold nights. walk right in you'll notice you can see everything really instantly and there's two beds which is really nice in here and it's just pretty open the inside matches the outside with the wood and the color palette just earthy tones and we'll just start here on this left side you've got your kitchen area and quotations you have your dishes and cups your kitchen utensils right here and above that you got a propane stove top which is nice you can cook your stuff while you're out here in the desert off the grid and you got a propane heater right here there is no AC in this place but that is okay because it gets cold at night and it doesn't get too hot during the day I was really comfortable the entire time I was here and right next to that you got your mini fridge then you make it to your main bed area this is a full bed and it's really nice right behind that you got two windows you can open up right here and just the design of all this is really neat you can store your stuff underneath this bed if you need to because this place is a little limited on space. It is a tiny home and one aspect of tiny homes is the folding tables which this place does have. You got this table right here right now it is up but you just unlatch it and it lowers down and you can fold out the legs and you got an entire table right here to work at, eat at, or whatever, and there's chairs back here in the corner that you can take outside or use for this table, however you'd like. And whenever you're done, you can just fold it right back up and it saves all that space. Right under that, you have some shelves that has your toiletries and towels. You also got games over here and just a bunch of random stuff that you might need for your Airbnb stay. And then lastly, on this bottom floor right behind that, you have this mini stove fireplace area. This is the tiniest one I've ever seen, but it fits this place perfectly and it looks really cool 
and the exhaust just goes outside through this pipe and it's really nice and aesthetic looking and that's whenever it gets cold during the winterish months you can just throw some wood in here and I guarantee it would heat up this place instantly because this place is very tiny. You might have noticed when we first walked in that there's this giant ladder right here. This does lead up to the loft area which is really neat. You climb up this ladder and all it is is a bed up here and a massive window. There's one right here and one on the other side and this is all you have up here is just a sleeping area. It's a lot of space. I I was the one that slept up here and it was really comfortable, plenty of room and it wasn't it wasn't that bad I liked it a lot but if you're not using that space at the moment of this ladder you can take it away and store it somewhere else because it kind of is in the way if you are inside it just takes up a lot of space so that's nice it's detachable Now there are outlets throughout this entire A-frame, which is really nice. Of course, I've charged my gear and all that stuff and it worked perfectly. Like I said, this place is off the grid. That means there is a solar panel which is located in the back. Here it is with the battery banks and I charged all my stuff and left lights on in the fridge and it worked perfectly. I'm sure out here in Arizona, solar power is not an issue. Now. You might be wondering about the bathroom situation. You got this little building right here and on the right side you got your shower and on the left side you got your bathroom. Now the shower is heated, it just has this giant tank of water behind it and you just turn it on and the water comes out and it heats it instantly. And then you got a little sink area over here. Now they do provide more water inside of course endless supply really if you need it so it's just a different unique experience than anything else I've really reviewed on my channel and I want to show all the different style and unique experiences Airbnbs that are offered so if you're down to have some fun and do something a little different and not your typical Airbnb luxurious stay I would say I would suggest coming out here and do some glamping which is what they call it the company that owns this is called Grand Glamping the link is down below if you want to contact them or have any questions about that and yeah I had a lot of fun here with this experience and I would highly suggest it to anybody else thanks for watching this video uh, if you're into tiny homes or anything like that I think this one is really neat maybe to mimic or look into a tiny home a-frame I haven't seen one of those and it's really neat you could probably put a lot of these on a property and rent them out and people would love it I mean that's a great idea I would love to do it but if you're interested in doing some of that I would highly suggest something like this it looks really cool and it's really tiny don't forget to like this video and share it with somebody that you would want to come out here with and leave a comment tell me about your experience in the Grand Canyon since I couldn't go and I'll read those <laughs> anyway if you have an Airbnb and you want me to come check it out uh, shoot me a message down below I specialize in like, container homes tiny homes or anything that is really unique and different so shoot me a message down below and we will work something out and guys I will see you next week with another video welcome what is up? That's the time. Not too many clouds. Not too many. Not too many clouds. Oh my gosh. That has some. And right under that you have some. And right under that you have some. Right under that you have some shelves that have. Places I reviewed here, you got this. Right there.